Alrighty, let's uh, move on to our NFL Draft Prospect of the Day. And today we're going to be looking at Kadarius Tony, folks. Wide receiver from Florida now. Now. Alrighty, we're going to be breaking down the stats and looking at the tape. So let's start here. He has kind of been a utility player for these kind of last three years. So he, oh, let's get the height out of the way. He is six foot, so great for the wide receiver. 193, not terrible there. Um, but, uh, yeah, four, four seasons at Florida, but his freshman, sophomore, junior year didn't get a lot of burn, more of a utility player, you know, using him in some gadget situations and some gadget kind of, um, uh, formations. So freshman year, only 15 receptions for 152 yards, no touchdowns. And then he had 14 rushes for 120 yards and a touchdown. So uh, 272 yards total with one touchdown his freshman season. Then in 2018, his catches went up a little bit, 25 catches for 260 yards, one touchdown. Rushes went up a little bit, 21 rushes for 240 yards, so in total 500 yards for one touchdown in 2018. Then in 2019, rush, or receiver rec, receptions went down, so, uh, 10 receptions for 194 yards, one touchdown. Rushes, what did he have? 59 rushing yards, unfortunately, so only 253 yards and one touchdown in his sophomore season. Then, 2020, this season, he became officially a wide receiver. 70 catches for 984 yards, 10 touchdowns, fantastic, and he even rushed 19 times for 161 yards and a touchdown. So overall, 1,100 yards in totality with 11 touchdowns and only 11 games, fantastic work. So he really just kind of kept getting better, finally elevated to that wide receiver mark, and he kind of made the most of it. 70 receptions for 984 yards, 14 yards to catch, we'll give him that, and then 10 touchdowns on top of all that pretty dang good so interesting little career here not kind of a wide receiver for four years like we just saw you know Lamar Chase or Devontae Smith or uh, who's that other one from Alabama Waddle Jacob Waddle something like that so uh, only one great season here we'll look at the highlights but um, only one actual season here at the actual technical wide receiver position so uh, now that we have that broken down, let's see. He did get to some bowl games in 2018, 19, and 20. So let's see how he fared in the bowl games. Was he kind of the reason why they won? Did they even utilize him in bowl games? So here we go. 2018 bowl game against Michigan. They get the win, but he had one reception for no yards. He had two re two rushes for 36 yards. He had one kick return for 14 yards and no points. Let's see how many points Florida put up in general. They put up 41 points, so didn't even need him. Didn't really use them at all. That's 2018. Unfortunate. All right, let's go to 2019. Did they use them again? Or did they use them at all here in their bowl game? All right, 2019, played the bowl game against Virginia. They get the win. One rush for one yard. One catch for negative one yard. No kick return. No punt return. So not even used in the offense. Let's see what Florida, they give, once again, put up 36 points without Tim. All righty. But now in 2020, we definitely got to see him do something in 2020 since this was basically his only his only year. Let's be a little real here. All righty. So 2020 got to the bowl game against Alabama. Unfortunately, lost. <laughs> lost. All right. And they used them. Eight receptions for 153 yards and a touchdown. Two rushes for 15 yards. Two kick returns for 41 yards and a punt return for two yards. No touchdowns on the kicker punt return. So a little unfortunate here. He did score one. So let's see how many points they had in totality. 46 points. All right. He did have a decent game. I mean, 136 yard, 153 yards receiving. We'll take that. Let's see kind of where he stacked up just in totality of everybody in this bowl game. Alabama's players, Florida's other players. So let's kind of see where he fares. <clears throat> Alrighty, so Kadar Kadarius Tony here, 150. Let's just give him 168 yards in total, and he was actually the most total yards on their team. The second highest was Kyle Pitts, and that's obvious because he's fantastic. Um, and then for Alabama, 
They had Najee Harris go for 245 yards, and they had Devontae Smith go for 184 yards. So obviously clear choices above Kadarius Tony, which obviously we know, and even Kyle Pitts up there close as well. So good good night by Kadarius Turner. Kind of did exactly what they asked of him to, to do. Scored once, got solid production yards wise. I mean, when they give when one player can give you 168 yards, I mean that's pretty damn good. So all right. All right, a little more context there to his uh, bowl game performance. Would have loved to see him kind of score a little bit more, but hey, I mean, we don't call the plays or deliver the ball to that man, so... Overall, not bad stats. Obviously, we can only really kind of take the 2020 year because, I mean, he was just a utility player the other three years. Not really any solid touches or carries or anything like that. So, But 2020, we'll give it to him. Good season there. 1,000-yard receiving, basically. Good in the bowl game. That's what we're talking about. All right, so we're really going to have to kind of judge our bulk of Kadarius Tony here in the highlights. So here we go. We get his highlights from 2020, and the description of this video is shiftiest player in the SEC. Is that true? Is this man the shiftiest player that we've seen? Well, let's see if this YouTube video is lying or not. But uh, he's got three numbers here. I think it's a – is he one this year? He's 17-4-1. and one. I'm assuming he's going to be one this year. We'll see what's going to happen. But uh, here we go. Kadarius Tony, wide receiver, no more a utility player, six foot wide receiver now for Florida. Here we go. Right here, highlighted here, number one. Nice just little move there just to get wide open over the middle of the field. Can he burst of speed? Oh, he does. He stays on his feet. He challenges the defenders right there, runs through a group of three defenders, and they can't bring him down. Poor tackling, great speed to kind of, you know, kind of uh, get to them at different times, not all of them converging at once. So fantastic speed there. And I want to watch this one one more time, just kind of focus on him at the top of his route right here. Just a nice little fake out, and then that stutter step back in. It just beats the defender. Watch the defender on this man gets pulled inside, and now you got about two yards of separation and just runs by him for the rest of the time, and then he's able to get to the second level. Fantastic work. That's a fantastic play. Wow. Um, all right, they're going to show it again right here. I mean, that's fa it's just fantastic, folks. He burned his own defender, and then he was able to kind of outrun everybody else and not get brought down. Shoulder hits. Don't shoulder hit me. I'm six foot. Come on. I'm solid out here. I'm not these 5'10 receivers. Don't disrespect me. All righty here. Nice little wide receiver screen. Cuts back inside. Oh, stays on his feet. Okay. You literally cannot bring this man down. He's a weeble wobble, folks. This is like the second Weeble Wobble we've kind of been looking at here in our draft prospects. So, nice little screen there. First tackle can't get brought down. Second best tackle can't get brought down. And then it's just, you know, a foot race. Well, it's not even a foot race. There's nobody to challenge him there for the last 10 yards. All right, here we go. Punt return, 50-yarder. He's going to take it all the way. He's got some good speed there, folks. Solid. So far, good speed. Can't really elevate it to great speed quite yet. We haven't really kind of seen a true foot race right here. Uh, but this is good speed right here. Get him to the outside. Get him into open space. He's going to make you pay for it. All right. Nice little jet sweep there. Oh, my God. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Stays on his feet. If he gets, if he doesn't get chased down right here. Oh, damn. Oh, I was ready to clearly know breakaway speed. Unfortunately, gets brought down here. Look at this uh, save or corner hustle. Very well done. 20 of Ole Miss. We can get behind that, man. Um, but look at this, man. Just take, I mean, gets kind of really hit right at the line of scrimmage. I mean, it's a good tackle right at his feet, but he stays on his feet. Let's give him that note that. Stays on his feet, folks. Stays, after, stays on his feet after contact. Beats everybody to the edge here. Stays on the sideline. And, yes, yeah, spins a little inside to make it actually into the end zone. Fantastic works. Truly the shiftiest player we've seen so far, I would say. Stays on feet. Let's finish up this note real quick. All righty, here we go. Just beating his defender right here. Let's see why the defender fell. He fell. He made the uh, Kadarius Tony made no contact with this defender right here. Just kind of beat him. Just made him fall kind of on his footwork right here at the top of his route. Cuts back inside. Defender can't even keep up, and that's a wide open touchdown. All right, here we go again. Just cuts inside. Oh, that's the same play. Yeah, just cuts inside. I mean, that's bad by the corner that's just a burn just truly just burn the corner right here all right going a little bit deep able to beat his defender just a one-on-one -on -one matchup hopefully we get another angle here to kind of see him 
He knows he's open too. Called for it. Called for it. All right. Unfortunately, we can't kind of see the start of this play to kind of see him get off the line. Maybe we can see it a little bit here. Just watch him right here. He's at the bottom of the screen. Just kind of just doing a little fade route and just running behind the defender. That's easy. He's got some good speed here. All righty. Back to good speed. I want to see him just fly down the field. Just fly down the field. That's what we're try trying to wait for here to kind of judge speed perfectly here. Another one. This is against Alabama, and this must be in the uh, the SEC championship game. Just watch this man just burn the defender. Can we kind of track him from the start of the play down here? Just going deep. That double move to the outside, able to get about a yard and a half separation, and that's wide open in the NFL, folks. And then just the closing speed here it is. Oh, this is perfect. This is the angle we're talking about right here. Here he is. Just hits him outside, and then the speed is gone, folks. Yes, sir. He cannot keep up. Cannot even dive. He's gone. Great speed. Great speed. Great speed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. On the goal line, once again, just able to get there. Squeaks out. Fantastic work. He's too quick, folks. All right, I want to go back to this one one more time. Hang on. Let's go back to this Tennessee play right on the goal line. Who's on him? I mean, look at that fake inside to show that it's man. It's man defense now since you got this linebacker kind of uh, chasing him. And then he comes back, and look at that. Look at how much separation at the ball. As soon as the ball is snapped, look how much separation. This is about a, about two yards. I know it's horizontally two yards, um, and this man can still make up some ground. But this is in, this is separation before the ball's even snapped, folks. Uh, so here he is, and that is just a game over. It's game over. He's too quick. He's too quick. You're not going to be able to catch up there outside. He's too quick for you. All righty, moving on to the next play here. Going a little deep here, finding just the soft spot of the zone and takes it in for the touchdown. Yes, sir. All right, good, wide open, kind of just, I mean, just wide open, just to get in those spaces. I mean, we got to give the man credit. All righty, coming back to the left side here in the end zone, touchdown. Couldn't really see him too much on this replay until the touchdown. So, once again, just wide open. I mean, nobody even within, like, three yards of this man. Truly, truly wide open. There's literally two There's literally two players three yards of him in front and behind, and he's in this uh, sweet spot right there. All right, another wide receiver screen, and the blocking is just absolutely fantastic. All he has to do is run up the middle, and that's exactly what he does. Fantastic work. Great speed. Once again, just, just beats the safety right there at the front of the goal line. At solid speed right here. All righty. What else we get here? In the red zone. Back of the end zone. Yes, sir. One-on-one -on -one matchup. And once again, he has about a half a step on the defender. And that's some great hands right there to, to secure the catch in the back of the end zone. Alrighty, so um, Kadarius Tony, folks. I mean, he's got some good speed. Nothing great. I mean, we didn't see anything amazing. Nothing that made our jaw drop. But definitely a solid wide receiver here at six foot. He's got some good speed. Got some good instincts. Cannot be brought down as well. I mean, you're really gonna have to make sure you're a surefire tackle if you're gonna be bringing down Kadarius Tony here. So. Good size, good speed, solid wide receiver out here. Don't think he's going to be one of the top three. Don't think he can compete for Lamar Chase or Devontae Smith or Jacob Waddle. But um, definitely good second tier, maybe a late round, first round, early second round pick. Uh, he's got some good stuff out here. So solid, solid play out here, Kadarius Tony. And it's only one year, folks. I mean, he could be even better than this. He could be even getting better since we've only really seen him at the wide, re re wide receiver position for only one year.